I received this WorkFit TL made by Ergotron today. I bought it on Amazon and it was shipped through UPS. You can tell that the box has seen some wear and tear. Particularly, it looks as if it may have been stabbed. Some sort of sharp edge. Like a forklift. Hopefully the standing desk inside is not damaged in any way. This is obviously a fairly large package, although a single individual can lift and carry it. As I go to open this, I can note that the tape has already broken on this end, which appears to be the more abused end of the box. Sorry. So immediately we open this up and of course the styrofoam is broken. Hopefully that's taken all of the force. Looks like that styrofoam is cracked as well. Cracks there, cracks there as well. Get over it. Hmm. We have some cabling here and Fit T Premium, some sort of guide. There are some cardboard dividers here. It's actually a fairly solid piece. Doesn't flex very easy. I have the box laid down ready to remove the desk. As soon as I start to pull it out, the styrofoam is giving way, although it seems to be doing its job of protecting the unit. So this is everything that was in the box once you pull out the bag of instructions and some tie downs, some cable management stuff. Bottom of the styrofoam seems to be mostly untouched, or undamaged at least. And then of course there's just lots of plastic to look at. This is basically the shape that the piece is, is coming off. This piece coming off of the side of the unit and the other side of the unit. Styrofoam is much more severely damaged, hanging on by basically a very small thread. Trying to go slow and... Well, it's slow. Identify whether there's any damage to the actual unit before I take off all the plastic. I'm probably being overly cautious, but... While I saw documentation of easy returns, something this large is not fun to return. So I've completely unpacked the desk and I'm trying to prep my desk that this will sit on. I've already measured, of course I measured before I bought the thing, but it's about 37 and a half inches across and something like 27 inches deep. So it will take up a fair amount of space on the desk. There's these holes here. These are plugs that you can pop out when you install the monitor arm attachment that you can buy separately. I did not buy that at this time since I only have one monitor and then a laptop with a laptop uh, dock that will be sitting on top of this. This is the WorkFit TL. Uh, I wanted that just a few inches more on the keyboard tray than the WorkFit T or specifically the Ergotron Home, which I believe is their home brand, has a Lift 35 that is very close in the specs to this. Very similar. I looked at one at Office Store and so far they seem very similar, a little bit of different styling, but this one had a few more inches on the keyboard than that Lift 35, which is why I chose this over the other. Despite my fears from the packaging, it seems this thing is in pristine condition is what I would expect. We're about at the moment of truth. The desk has been cleared, all the junk pushed to the side, even did some dusting just to have a fresh start. By the way, this industrial looking desk was picked up for 150 bucks from a scratch and dent store. There's basically nothing wrong with this desk. That thing actually cost less money than the standing desk attachment that I'm gonna set on top of it. I used another adult's help to lift this. I think I still need to move it over some because the stuff I want to put on the other side of the desk it takes up so much room. But otherwise, it was very easy for two people to lift from the floor. I've finished setting up this desk with all the stuff on it. I've not yet actually taken off a couple of the storage packing 
items because I want to make sure that I'm really happy with the function and the setup before I fully commit to it. This didn't really take me that much time to set up, despite the fact that I have quite a lot of cable management running under the desk. I was afraid as I was setting this up that the keyboard was in fact, or the tray was too big. However, for practical uses, the amount of movement I have, I usually turn up the settings on my mouse. However, I have to push my keyboard all the way to the left. It's an 18 inch keyboard to have a lot of movement here. I'm still glad I went with the WorkFit TL as opposed to the Lift 35 because the, those extra few inches, I, I don't remember right now, two or three inches difference probably makes a lot more clearance for moving the mouse around. I can't raise or lower it with the one hand, but it does lift and lower quite smoothly. And this actual uh, unit, I'm about six feet tall, and this unit will extend much higher than what it currently is at, being far too high for ergonomic purposes. However, the keyboard tray will go flat to the desk, yet you still have this rise here that creates a little extra space when it's sitting on the desk. 